Good morning or afternoon. Uh, I am Professor Fernando Quevedo. I'm the current director of the Abdul Salam International Center for Theoretical Physics in Trieste, Italy, ICTP. This is the institution founded by Professor Abdul Salam in 1964, and I'm very proud to be uh, holding that position for the last uh, seven years. I have been asked to say some words about Professor Salam to students of the Abdul Salam uh, School of Mathematics in Pakistan, and uh, I will be pleased to share some of my experiences with Professor Salam. Um, I graduated from uh, undergraduate in physics in 1979, precisely the year that Professor Salam received the Nobel Prize, shared with uh, Professor Weinberg and uh, Professor Glasho. And uh, <coughs> immediately after that, uh, I was uh, pleased to have been accepted to go to the University of Texas in Austin to work under Professor Weinberg. Weinberg and Salam were my heroes at that time, especially because it was very fresh, their Nobel Prize. Uh, of course, they, were, they received the Nobel Prize because of uh, their working unification of, of the electroweak interactions uh, using symmetries. And uh, <coughs> symmetries have been always behind the work of uh, Salam. He was always passionate about symmetries, and then he found good applications to understand physics of the standard model, what we know now the standard model is. And uh, after finishing my PhD in uh, 86, uh, two things happened. Professor Salam gave me the first offer. My first job offer was from Professor Salam, a telegram coming from uh, Trieste to Texas. And uh, I was very pleased to, to, to receive that offer from him. Uh, for different reasons, I decided to go to CERN instead of uh, ICTP. But before moving to CERN, I spent several weeks at ICTP and I had the opportunity to meet with uh, Professor Salam. I have seen him before in Texas when I was a first year student and he came for one of these, uh, what's called the Solvay conferences that I was organized in Texas. And he gave one of the wonderful uh, lectures uh, about the standard model and symmetries and different interactions. One of the memories I have from that talk was that um, he said that when he was a young student, uh, people, uh, his uh, uh, professor, his uh, uh, teacher told him that there were four interactions and at that time. And we know now that there are four interactions, so the weak, strong, electromagnetic, and, and gravity. But at that time, he was told that the four interactions were gravity, electricity, magnetism, and surface tension. So he was making fun about the, the number four up here, but for completely different reasons. And, uh, and that showed the level of education at the time when he was uh, a young student. But when I met him in uh, Trieste for those uh, three weeks, that's something I have very vivid memories of uh, that interaction with Professor Salam. He was extremely open to discuss. Uh, he invited me to go to his office. We had a lot of uh, discussions about physics and about uh, the importance about uh, physics in developing countries, which is, was his passion. And I somehow I, I share the same passion because I'm from a developing country. I'm from Guatemala. And we always uh, dream to have better working conditions for scientists in our countries. And what uh, we were dreaming at that time when we were young, Professor Salam had achieved by creating ICTP. And uh, so I learned a lot by just talking to him and his vision uh, about, uh, about the importance about uh, science in developing countries and, uh, and to the importance to support scientists from developing countries to develop their potentials, to become good scientists, have opportunities to do research and work, and eventually contribute to their own countries. <coughs> so it was a great experience uh, for me. Scientifically, I always follow what he had done. Of course, the standard model is the masterpiece that for he has been very much recognized. And uh, it impressed me that uh, he wrote his paper of the standard model here at ICTP while he was doing all this work for supporting scientists in developing countries. So it's very impressive he managed to have a balance between the two uh, activities. Uh, then he didn't stop with the standard model. He did a, a lot of work after that that has had a lot of impact. Uh, so one particular subject that I'm very keen on is the, uh, the point of about uh, supersymmetry. Supersymmetry is uh, one of the biggest developments in the last uh, 50 years in mathematical physics. And uh, Professor Salam with uh, John Strat, they, they play a key role in the development of the idea of supersymmetry. 
again, symmetry being one of his passions. And uh, of course, the idea of supersymmetry is to the two particles, like uh, bosons and fermions that we know in nature, they are very, they are related to each other by these transformations of supersymmetry. So Salam and Stradley, his work was uh, one of the pioneers and most relevant ones. They invented several of the concepts. Uh, first of all, they invented the word supersymmetry. Uh, second, they um, introduced the concept of superspace, which is ex enhancing the notion of our space-time with extra coordinates, which are anti-commuting variables. And um, uh, of course, they, they, that uh, gave them to introduce the concept of superfields, uh, fields depending on superspace. And uh, their contribution is lasting for all these years because that's the basis that we all that work on supersymmetry are, are, are using. So that was a, a key development and he did that uh, here at ICTP again and after um, his uh, major work on, on the standard model. And uh, as you may know, the standard model has been closed by essentially the discovery in 2012 of the famous uh, Higgs particle that is precisely the particle, the Higgs particle within the standard model of Weimar and Salam. So it has a lot to do with Salam in, 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 the, uh, in his original model of the standard model. And uh, so after the Higgs particle <coughs> was discovered, then we said the standard model is closed and something has to go beyond the standard model. And uh, that we still don't know what it is. So that's many of us are working precisely. What is it that goes beyond the standard model to solve some of the problems that we know we cannot explain, so, so, such as uh, dark matter, dark energy, uh, the origin of, uh, of matter over antimatter, and so on. And uh, the first article on the physics beyond the standard model was again written by Abdul Salam in collaboration with uh, George's uh, Patti, uh, Patti Salam articles. That was in 1974, the same year where he was also working on supersymmetry. And, um, and this is, there was this, we can say now, is a new uh, uh, step in the physics, because it's, it's, a new, it's the first step of physics beyond the standard model. And uh, so they introduced a lot of concepts, of, uh, like uh, bigger symmetries, again, symmetries, that uh, generalize the, the symmetries of the standard model. And these symmetries imply several things, like the potential uh, decay of the proton, and that's something that people have been looking for so for, for many, many years, and so on. So Salam was a pioneer in, in, the, in this uh, development about uh, how to go beyond the standard model. And then after that, he developed other ideas, like uh, Kaluza-Klein uh, theories of extra dimensions, and so on. When superstrings came, he also got involved working on superstrings at, at, at the older age. And, and so on. So his work on uh, physics has a lot of a lot of uh, impact, uh, much much uh, bigger than just his work for the standard model. So he's easily considered to be one of the greatest scientists of the 20th century. And uh, <coughs> still, from s the from the um, human point of view, which is one of the reasons I admire him the most, the creation of ICDP has helped so many scientists, not only from his country, but from all over the world, to develop their careers. And ICTP has been uh, playing this key role to, to do that, to show the scientists from any country in the world that they have the potential to be successful and they can contribute to the development of science. And uh, luckily for all of us, the distribution of, uh, of uh, talent for science is, is, this, is uniform worldwide. It's only that the people need some opportunities to develop, and Salam has provided that with the creation of ICTP. So he's, uh, as I say, he's one of my heroes, and he is one of the role models for many of us, and I'm very proud to be in the position of the director of the center that he created. Thank you very much. <laughs>